Hi, Hi, Prime Minister. Tom Perry with CDC. Uh, Pierre Polyev is blaming you for pretty much every problem facing the country, whether that's crime. <laughs> uh, big laugh from the gallery. That's great. Um, crime, inflation, a shortage of housing. And looking at the polls, I'm wondering if you think that message is sticking, if you think there's a large number of Canadians who blame you, not for trying to solve their problems, but making them worse. One thing we've heard right across the country is that Canadians are going through a tough time right now. Inflation has given them a big kick in the teeth over the past past year and a half. After the extraordinarily difficult situation that COVID was. And now interest rates causing huge challenges on home buyers and homeowners. Uh, and people are really feeling it. No wonder um, people are feeling anxious and upset. The question, of course, as politicians, remains, what do we do when people are upset? How do we respond when people are fearful for their future, worried about their kids' prosperity, worried about their ability to pay their rent or buy groceries? What does leadership mean when people are hurting? Well, Mr. Polyev has decided Let's make them even angrier. Let's give them a scapegoat. Let's point fingers and lay blame because that's easy, and it is. That's not my approach. It hasn't been our approach as a government. Certainly when Mr. Harper was bringing the country in the wrong direction, as a party in 2014, 2015, we made a commitment to solve the challenges the middle class was facing. The struggles people working hard to join the middle class were facing. We put forward solutions, rolled up our sleeves and got to work. We've lifted a million people out of, uh, over a million people out of poverty, half a million kids out of poverty since 2015. We've created millions of new, new jobs We've moved forward on reconciliation in ways that not only is lifting socioeconomic standards and ending boil water advisories across the country, but is creating economic activity and opportunity for the kinds of investments, whether it's lithium mines or small businesses, that are creating opportunity for Canadians across the country, Indigenous Canadians across the country. We're continuing to show leadership on climate. Where we're drawing in massive global investments, creating good jobs for future generations, reassuring folks like the third generation steel workers at the DeFasco plant in Hamilton, that there's going to be a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth generation of steel workers in Hamilton because of the investments we're making in electric arc transformation. Canadians are struggling. Canadians are worried. And they're seeing two different approaches to leadership right now. One that mirrors back that anger and frustration and amplifies it and lays blame without offering solutions. Or one that recognizes, yeah, times are really tough for a whole lot of people right now. And we're going to keep rolling up our sleeves and bringing forward the best possible solutions because Canadians can get through this. This is the best country in the world and we're going to keep making it even better. The question, sir, is do you think that Canadians are blaming you for all that's wrong with this country? I think Canadians uh, are really worried and are looking at blaming anyone they can for it. And that's totally natural and totally right. The questions Canadians are also asking is, are we going to be able to fix it? Are we going to be able to get through this as a country? My answer is absolutely. And that's exactly what we're focused on.